Discover how Suriname is transforming a hidden gem to a powerhouse of growth and innovation. Join us as we unveil the top 10 mega projects that are reshaping this vibrant nation, setting the stage for a future filled with prosperity and connectivity. Suriname is brimming with untapped potential and a vibrant culture. You won't believe the incredible developments happening right now, from cutting-edge energy solutions to revolutionary infrastructure. The description below includes links to some of the Caribbean's biggest mega projects, including those in Jamaica, Trinidad, Guyana, the Bahamas, and many more. Check them out. Suriname is transforming its economy through many great infrastructure developments set to augment growth, enhance connectivity, and uplift communities across the nation. From ambitious road networks traversing lush rainforests to state-of-the-art urban developments and innovative energy projects, these undertakings are not only modernizing the country's landscape, but also setting the stage for a prosperous future. So join us again as Caribbean Focus explores the most significant infrastructure projects in Suriname this year, shedding light on their progress, impact, and the vision driving these monumental efforts. Let's go to the 10 biggest mega projects in Suriname currently. Number 10, Suriname Photovoltaic Microgrid. We kick off our list today with a smaller of the projects, but one still providing major improvements for the people it has impacted. Just completed in the second quarter of this year, Power China executed the first phase of the photovoltaic microgrid project in Suriname, providing a continuous power supply to 12 isolated villages. The Suriname photovoltaic microgrid project aims to provide reliable power to remote villages by combining photovoltaic technologies, energy storage, and hybrid diesel generation to cover 34 villages in total eventually. The first stage, completed and delivered in April 2024, saw the construction of a 650 kilowatt photovoltaic system and 2.6 megawatt per hour energy storage systems. The system integrates distributed energy sources, energy storage, and conversion devices, enabling efficient and flexible electricity management. It is set to benefit around 1,550 inhabitants. Number 9. Accelerator for Agriculture and Agro-Industry Development Next up, we have an initiative set to transform the country's agricultural and farming society. The Accelerator for Agriculture and Agro-Industry Development and Innovation PLUS program, which we will call the 3ADI PLUS for short, is a global development program led by the United Nations and the Food and Agriculture Organization. It aims to accelerate the sustainable transformation of food value chains and food systems by investing in sustainable practices and de-risking them through a variety of financial instruments and technical assistance. In Suriname, 3ADI Plus is facilitating the country's transformation from a marginal pineapple producer characterized by traditional growing practices, little value addition, and no exports to an established producer and exporter of high-quality organic and processed pineapple products. Applying an inclusive and sustainable value chain approach, the program has improved access to financial and support services, increased the quantity and quality of pineapple production, set up small-scale processing plants, and increased market access. The project, with a total budget of just under 1 million US dollars, is about halfway through its lifespan and is expected to see continued impressive results going forward. Number 8. Digveld Port in the Wanika District Many in the region may be aware of the economic transportation that Guyana is undergoing and its discovery of oil and recent exploration licenses. Well, as neighboring Guyana is undergoing an oil and gas boom, so too is Suriname. Its burgeoning oil and gas industry is acting as a catalyst for some revolutionary new support infrastructure. Environmental permitting is underway for the Nickery Deepwater Port, which is part of a complex that includes a gas processing plant and LNG export terminal offshore support infrastructure, a gas-fired power plant, and a special economic zone. The proposed complex would also allow for the storage and transshipment of containers and bulk cargo, as the discovery of hydrocarbon resources is expected to increase demand for logistical services. Local group Baitali will carry out the 2.4 million US dollar nine-month project, which is being partially financed by the Inter-American Development Bank. Number 7. Improvements to Transport Logistics and Competitiveness Switching over now to improvements to transportation infrastructure, 
Our next project aims to enhance Suriname's competitiveness and logistics, titled the Transport Logistics and Competitiveness Improvement Project. The 2.5 million US dollar project will focus on improving efficiencies and reducing both costs and time to clear goods at the primary port facility in Suriname. The project has a list of objectives, which include improving the infrastructure and operations of the port of Paramaribo with port-efficient infrastructure, the acquisition and implementation of equipment and digital platforms to facilitate a faster clearance process, general improvements to the level of service, capacity and resilience of adjacent roads and access to the port, and strengthening institutional capacity to ensure the port's administrative functions, ensure optimal execution, sustainable asset management, and more. The project has already begun as of November of last year, with construction commencing on a truck center within the port to liberate adjacent roads of parked trucks waiting to enter the port, alongside a waiting area, a rest area, and a green zone, all encompassing approximately 1.8 hectares. Enjoying the video? If so, we'd love your support. Please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Your support means the world to us and helps keep our channel growing. Thank you for being part of our community. Number 6. Jenny Hanna Road Rehabilitation Project Continuing down our list, it would be incomplete without highlighting the country's road infrastructure improvements. Suriname is seeing major works on its well-known East-West Connection Corridor. The Inter-American Development Bank has partnered with Anemings Machapi Vitali, one of the main construction companies in Suriname to provide $5 million in financing for the Jenny Henna Road Construction Project, part of the same East-West Corridor. The deal will support greater connectivity and integration of the Northwest area of Suriname. It will connect Nikari, one of the essential districts of agricultural production of bananas and rice, to internal demand centers and export points such as the port of Paramaribo. The corridor also connects Suriname with Guyana, which makes the rehabilitation of this road critical to reducing travel time with Guyana and facilitating economic integration between both countries and their neighbors. Number 5. Quarantine River Bridge We now break into the top 5 biggest mega-projects set to greatly transform the country of Suriname. Our next project is set to transform not only Suriname, but also its neighbor to the west, Guyana. The two governments of Guyana and Suriname are in the latter stages of negotiations regarding the construction of the long-awaited Quarantine River Bridge, which is expected to connect the two countries. According to a statement from the Joint Ministerial Committee of Suriname and Guyana, which met on March 19, 2024 in Paramaribo, Suriname, the construction of the Quarantine River Bridge is likely to begin before the end of 2024. The two parties will soon engage in further discussions regarding the financing, technical aspects, and operational modalities of the bridge, and both will reinforce their commitment to the project. Number 4. Affordable Housing Projects Just about to start, our next project is following the lines of many countries around the world who are facing similar problems in identifying affordable housing for their citizens. To combat this, the government of Suriname has received financing in the amount of 35 million US dollars equivalent from the Islamic Development Bank toward the cost of the affordable housing project, which will support the payments for goods, works, related services, and consulting services to be procured under this project. The affordable housing project is a multi-phase plan to incentivize all sectors of the housing market. The project will create an incentive for new housing construction and improvements of quality in housing including rehabilitation and extension of houses. Additionally, the project will provide persons with more access to affordable housing by directly building institutional houses for persons. The project pledges in its first phase 3,775 housing solutions for those most needing them. Number 3. Bakowis Bauxite Development Our next project will see the transformational development of a new industry in the country, bauxite. The government of Suriname is committed to unlocking the vast potential of the Bakuis bauxite and has opened the request for expressions of interest by relevant companies. Companies from India, China and the Middle East have informally expressed interest in participating in the bauxite project in the jungle of western Suriname that could potentially attract billions in investment. The South American country hopes to award concessions for bauxite to companies, which is the world's main source of aluminium, by the end of this year after decades of attempts to develop the ore. The Bakuis bauxite location is estimated to have approximately 324 million tons of bauxite. 
it is easily expected to draw investments of $10 billion to $12 billion over a period of 10 years, if not slightly more. This is expected to be just the beginning, as the country boasts significant bauxite deposits that have remained largely untapped, presenting an exciting opportunity for investors to engage in sustainable resource development. Number 2. Country Engagement Frameworks Next on our list, we have an initiative just getting started and is expected to increase significantly throughout the year. A Memorandum of Understanding between Suriname and the Islamic Development Bank ISDB, has been signed this year to support Suriname's Country Engagement Framework. The Country Engagement Framework for Suriname is designed to support the country's development needs by using ISDB's operational tools and mechanisms to ensure sustainable development via igniting growth, diversification, and building human capital for the future of Suriname. As part of the Country Engagement Framework, the bank will develop a regional hub in the capital, Paramaribo, which will further technical discussions with Surinamese authorities, private sector representatives, and other development partners on ways to achieve the country engagement framework. The project also includes infrastructure financing, technical assistance, and reverse linkage support for Suriname across priority areas such as energy, health, education, housing, agriculture, SME support, and more. As of April 2024, the Islamic Development Bank has approved a total financing of about 217 million US dollars for Suriname. Number 1. Block 58 Offshore Oil Development Finally, the biggest mega project that will significantly transform the economy of Suriname, the Block 58 Offshore Oil Development. The starting gun has already been fired by Total Energies during the first deep water offshore oil development in Suriname. The development of the first field development offshore is expected to begin at the end of 2024, with the first production from offshore Block 58 to come in 2028. Total Energies will operate the block in partnership with Apache Corporation, and Suriname's state-owned Statsoli has the option to join the development by taking an interest of up to 20%. Block 58 consists of the Sapakara and Krabdagu fields, estimated to hold recoverable resources of over 700 million barrels of oil, with a production period of 25 years. To minimize emissions, the facilities will be designed for zero routine flaring, with all associated gas re-injected into the reservoirs. Statsoli estimates the government revenues from Block 58 development will amount to between 16 billion and 26 billion US dollars over the anticipated production time span. As you can see, Suriname is a nation on the brink of a new era of development and prosperity. Improved road networks, novel material resource extraction, and cutting-edge energy projects symbolize more than just construction endeavors. They symbolize a bold vision for Suriname's future. These projects are set to enhance connectivity, drive economic growth, and significantly improve the quality of life for Surinamese citizens. As these infrastructure initiatives progress, they will undoubtedly position Suriname as a dynamic player in the regional and global arena. Stay tuned as we continue to track these monumental efforts and their lasting impact on this beautiful, burgeoning nation. What do you think about Suriname's transformation? Which project do you find the most impressive? And how do you think it will impact the country's future? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please share it, give us a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update from Caribbean Focus. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.